Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. This demonstration sketch was inspired by a picture I took on my phone last year uh, when out walking in Sandyway in Cheshire. It was a bright sunny day and as I walked up the path to the opening it, uh, it was silhouetted against the bright sky. Of course when I took the quick picture the phone's camera uh, adjusted to the light and I didn't quite capture the contrasting tones that I was actually seeing. However this is a good opportunity to demonstrate how to edit your reference and use it only as a guide to the painting you have in mind. Unless you intend to paint in a photo -realist realistic style I would always advocate that you interpret your reference whether it's a photo or if you're even painting on plein air to suit your own style of working rather than to slavishly try and copy exactly what you've got in front of you. So as you can see from my initial sketch I've just drawn a few details as a sort of roadmap for my painting. Uh, my aim was just to paint this in a loose interpretation of the view to create the feeling of walking uphill towards the light. I started by painting the initial wash of the lightest lights using cobalt blue for the sky, uh, yellow ochre and sap green for the foreground and raw sienna for the tree trunk. Then for the fence post I used a stronger mix of raw sienna on the two right hand posts and I used sepia and dropped in some ultramarine just to mix on the page wet in wet just to give a nice uh, blend of various shades of different colours. For the darkest darks I mixed up three puddles of paint ultramarine and burnt sienna for the dark uh, some cobalt blue and some sap green Let it all blend and mix on the page. And this is sap green, all wet in wet, letting it all blend together. And I'm going to drop in a little bit more ultramarine just to darken the area at the top. Just to the base of the tree, I've just added a touch of burnt sienna. This is more sap green on the left for the trees, for the leaves on the left, and I'll drop in some ultramarine, uh, sorry, some cobalt blue, just to let that blend together as well. And for the foreground, this is burnt sienna. Uh, with a touch of uh, ultramarine, letting the colours blend together. Very loose style, just to indicate some uh, leaves and rough ground. As I said before, this is a very uh, loose sketch. I uh, just want to just show that uh, nice silhouette against the bright sky. Just darkening the fence post a little bit with some more burnt sienna, dropping in a bit more blue to mix wet in wet. Just darkening the uh, the leaves at the top left. They were a bit. They dried a bit light. For the branches, this is uh, just pure sepia with a little bit of uh, ultramarine added to it to darken it slightly. Just using a rigger for the thinner branches. Riggers are really good for this sort of thing. You can use the flexibility of the, uh, the brush to uh, create some really nice branch shapes. Just darkening the foreground at the base of the tree.
finally using the rigger to put in the uh, barbed wire and there's a sort of a mesh large mesh fence uh, along the base of the uh, the uprights and I think I'm done thank you so much for watching I hope you found this demonstration useful as a guide to interpreting your reference material if you did please give it a like it always helps with uh, YouTube and if you're not a subscriber do subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, I do try and post uh, around once a week if I can and thanks again for watching